Today I'm going to be showing you the sway bar that I installed into the car. Um, it's actually on, I just did it today and I'll show you what it looks like um, on the car. Dun, dun, dun. I'm sorry I couldn't film it but this is very busy. Now, as you can see, you can kind of see it there that, where the gold um, clamps and brackets are. That's, where, that's pretty much a new sway bar that's been put into the car. Um, it's much more thicker. I've shown you in the previous video what it looks like when it's on the car. As you can see, it's pretty big, pretty thick. And it's my exhaust. Um, yeah, so that's pretty good. I'll show you what the old sway bar looks like. This is the old sway bar. So this is a stock OEM sway bar that has been removed out of the car. As you can see here, it's much more thinner and it's much more kind of basic in that aspect. Um, very dirty. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the stock OEM uh, sway bar. I'm gonna put that obviously somewhere, I'm just put in storage. But yeah, that's the stock OEM one. Now, um, in this video, I'm gonna basically drive the car around and kind of give you some impressions on it. I was waiting for the DC5 to come, my friend. So, yeah, we'll give you some impressions um, when I cut uh, in behind the wheel. Alright, guys, so just um, cutting back in here. Um, it is on the way to my mate's house, real quick. And yeah, so we had a traffic light, not that exciting, but. using this new sway bar and what's my impressions of it I think it actually it it does make a difference in my honest opinion um, it does change the handling there's less body roll that means you're more intact with the ground which is a definite uh, more than what I used to have on the OEM the OEM bar was terrible when it came to this body roll you would just be flinging everywhere your car would be like nearly about to tip over on this accord so I mean Definitely the handling has just been improved greatly um, I really do enjoy it. I think it's worth it if you guys are out there Honda quarter owners if you guys are out there for better handling Upgrade your rear sway bar get a progress one because they're really good. They're very durable and they're very 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 You know affordable. They're not that expensive Maybe a bit pricey if you're overseas like me like if, in terms of shipping and stuff like that But and that's a nice Miata that's a nice Miata, I hope you guys saw that, I oh, got that, but yeah, that, I'm sorry, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so they're affordable, and they're pretty good, um, let's just get onto the motorway real quick, Affordable, very good, um, great cars. Yeah, they do well. And, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of dislodged in what I'm doing right now. But yeah, no, the suspension bar is very good. I really do recommend those. Um, rear sway bars are very nice. You should definitely, if you guys want to buy one, go get a Progress one. Because Progress ones are nice. They're good. They're good. Affordable, they're durable, and they're sweet. Um, yeah, I'm stuck in traffic, so I'm gonna cut out the camera and just bring it back when I'm close to my friend's house. Nice GTR there. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. 
looks amazing. Nice customs on the plate. Very nice. I like it. Anyways, yeah, going back to business. So I just cut out the video back. A, like I cut a lot of con like video out. Most of it was just that traffic there, which I just showed. Um, yeah, so, um, what am I going to talk about? Um, oh yeah, so, rear sway bar, get this one. The progress one is actually very good. You should pick one of those up if you're going to go for a rear sway bar. It does. Now, a lot of people are like, do they make a difference? Um, in my honest opinion, they do. They actually really do make a big difference. Um, the reason why is because for many of these sedans, the rear OEM sway bar is very, very tiny. It's restrictive. It's just tiny. And by the way, I think there's a lot of people around here because of X Factor auditions. X Factor auditions. So uh, uh, that's actually probably why there's so much traffic. But yeah. No. Uh, that's a definite. People are probably looking at me like, why am I talking to myself and why do I have a camera on my head? Uh, that's the thing about making YouTube video, guys. You're gonna look like a retard and it's gonna be hilarious. Guys, sorry, I'm back. I've kind of calmed down. <laughs> and yeah, so what am I also gonna say? Oh, yeah, so video's coming out. Um, a lot of content will be released, as I've said numerous of times. There's going to be a lot of stuff and content just released over the, the coming weeks of the chat of me being on break and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of good content, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I, I just, like, I, I'm waiting for some comments to be put on my videos, because no one puts comments on them, and, like, yeah, I want comments to be put on them, because, like, you know, get some feedback, this is kind of, yeah. Oh yeah, does the suspension bar, does the rear sway bar make your car s stiffer? That's a lot, that's a big question that people ask. Does it make it stiffer? Majority it does, it does make it a bit more stiffer, but for that kind of comfort, that sacrifice and comfort, you get a positive pro in handling. Now obviously there's two settings, um, this bar comes with two settings, so you can have the softer setting or the, the stiffer setting, which um, I'm running the softer right now, because when I was talking to my mechanic about it, he was like, yeah, run the softer um, kind of setup, because you know, you're going to be on the road, and you, you don't, it's a street car, you know, you don't, you, no, it's gonna just see how you feel um, when, when you're driving and stuff like that and I was like yeah okay and he's like if there's if if you want to change it to stiffer setting just come back and we'll change it for you and I was like yep yeah, cool that sounds fair enough because you know if um, even though the stiff setting does give you better handling it might not be the best for a street application so it depends on how you're driving and things like that. It's almost sunset, so I'm gonna cut the video out and I'll cut it back when we're at my friend's house. We're pretty close by, actually. Alright, guys, so we've just gone to that lookout that we were just at a couple days ago um, with all the lights and all that. But it was a bit, it was a bit lighter back then, a bit um, more during the day, but now it's a bit more. Um, I guess later during the day, it's more darker, the lights are not just beautiful, look at that, absolutely amazing, much more beautiful view, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it, I came here just for my friends just to kind of wrap up this video, because it's kind of getting dark and I kind of want to get it um, over and done with, because no one wants to shoot in the dark, it's, it's terrible, so, um, yeah, so today we've got the rear sway bar put on, and it's freaking amazing, I love it. Now later on during the week, I will be releasing a update video on this car, and telling you what I've done to it, the mods that I've done, and 
we're gonna be basically just going through the whole mod list. Um, so yeah, now how long the, can you do this DIY? Can a lot of people are probably gonna be asking and probably thinking, can you do this sway bar DIY? Yes, you can. You can do it, but you need to have a hoist where you can suspend the car and keep it on load. So you know, otherwise it just it needs the car needs to be the suspension needs to be on load basically um and then you will have a easier yeah right. and it comes with instructions paper instructions that already comes with the packaging and everything included is pretty much enough for the install now you can get brand new end links if your end links are a bit worn out but i really don't re really recommend it i mean they're just fine if your car is really old maybe you should get new end links from progress or the new end links for your car from oem it, it, it's up to you um so yeah that's pretty much it um sorry for the, the kind of randomness of this whole video today it's just that it was quite late notice um you know i woke up pretty early get this done and now the lighting shit so that's great um thank you very much guys for watching my video i really appreciate it um like subscribe comment um on my channel pop life and you know i'll be putting out new content and updating you on it pop life out Peace out, guys. Stay frosty.